Checking some breaking news out of Washington, D.C. Capitol Police are investigating a report of a possible explosive device on Capitol Hill. This after a suspicious vehicle was found right near the Library of Congress. Buildings in the area have been evacuated. We'll be tracking the story this afternoon. We'll bring you updates on air and online when we learn them. A man arrested in connection with a double murder in Providence faced a judge late this morning. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer is tracking this case. She's live outside of the district courtroom with the details this afternoon. Brittany? Well, Danielle, Miguel Lacourt was taken into custody during a traffic stop in Johnston yesterday afternoon. The 36-year-old is facing two counts of second-degree murder. Miguel Lacourt showing little emotion as he faces a judge on murder charges, but in the background of his arraignment, sobbing can be heard from a woman in the spectator seating. Providence police say the Johnston man shot and killed 27 year old Mario Diaz and 29 year old Kerwin's Pimentel, both from the Boston area. This happened earlier this month outside of Fuego Lounge on West Friendship Street. This defendant was among a group of people outside the club where some words were exchanged that led to some physical altercation. Major David LePayton tells me the victims were out celebrating a birthday with a group of friends when the fight broke out with another group, including the court. Prosecutors say the court was taken to the ground and beaten when he got up. They say he went to his vehicle and grabbed a gun. About a minute later, returned to the area of the club. He opened fire and killing Mario Diaz and killing Samantha. Police say it's unclear if the two groups knew each other prior to the incident, but say the feud was likely brought over to Providence. Diaz and Pimentel were the city's 14th and 15th homicides of 2021. And the court is being held without bail. He is due back in court on August 26th. Live in Providence, Semper E. Shaper, 12 News.